It has ordered the Bureau of Public Enterprises to submit shares purchase agreements for all privatized companies following revelations of breach of sale agreements in the privatization of Nigeria Reinsurance Company and Nigeria Insurance Corporation. The report. Panel investigating the sales of federal government companies at its resumed hearing turned its searchlight on the insurance sector. Former staff and retirees of the Nigerian Reinsurance Company and the Nigerian Insurance Corporation alleged fraud in the sales of the companies to the core investor, Global Fleet. When they returned the company after eight months, it was a carcass they gave back to us because all the businesses were gone. Global Fleet used the, um, uh, paper, the CFOs of 46 Marina and the reinsurance house here in Abuja to obtain a loan from Union Bank. They, they How much? How much? 43 billion. It's Nikon Plaza. It's in shambles. If you go to Lagos, they have turned Lagos to Car Park. That is Five Custom Street. Now, the Nikon Plaza is being placed on for advert for sale. Uh, Jimmy Ibrahim has sold most of the companies that was handed, were handed over to him. Another company, Assurance Acquisition Limited, represented by its lawyer, Dixon Osula, accused Global Fleet of certain company that. records pre-qualifying the company for the bid and described Mr. Jimo Ibrahim, the chairman of Global Fleet, who used to be his client business partner as an imposter. Midway after the, uh, during the bid, a gentleman, Mr. Jimo Ibrahim, came and dropping names, he was representing the first citizen of Nigeria. And I said that he should be with them. We don't know you. The next thing they had is he made a brought a letter, acceptance of offer. The Global Fleet and another consortium of companies that we are not assessed during the time of the consideration of the bill. We are now given Nikon insurance. Following the submission, the Senate company took a swipe at the BPE for being incompetent in the privatization of government corporations. The committee said it's observed that the companies were undervalued and sold at giveaway to the investors. All the reports shows we have been doing very well with monitoring. And the reports we are getting are variants to the Senate panel directed the Federal Capital Territory Authority to stop the operation of a printing press at the basement of the Nikon Luxury Hotels for breach of contract of agreement. Amaka Mwajugu, Channels Television News.